the human brain floats inside this bath of fluid called cerebrospinal fluid, and that allows it to have movement. Brain slosh is the brain's ability to move inside the skull. When there's a blow to the head or when the head suddenly stops, the brain is able to move forward and backwards and maybe reverberate a second time, hitting the inside of the skull. And the fibers of the brain are more prone to being injured when the head rotates. External protection is naturally limited. And we knew that the brain's ability to move inside the skull is perhaps the major reason traumatic brain injury occurs. The Q collar is intended to go around the neck and then have two areas which gently compress the internal jugular vein on either side. And what this does is cause an instantaneous increase in the blood volume inside the head. And that appears then to significantly reduce the brain's ability to move inside the skull. We used to think if you didn't have a known or diagnosed concussion, then probably nothing happened to the brain. But now we think that there are instances where repetitive blows to the head that don't reach the diagnosis of a concussion or a recognized concussion can in some cases have bad consequences in someone who's exposed through their sport to multiple head impacts.